Hey everyone, so the first thing I want to say is, is thank you guys a lot. Me and Shaq are very appreciative over the 1k subscribers that we just got in the past week. And I was like, we would like to say just thank you for the long haul of us just like us being on hiatus and that kind of stuff. And our 1k subscriber video is probably going to come out maybe around two weeks or somewhere around there. As soon as I get back home. So, again, thank you everyone for 1K subscribers. Welcome back to my after watching. Now, this time I'm going to be doing something different. Usually, during my after watching or after reading is anime and manga related. But since we became a anime, manga, and cartoon channel, I decided to do something different and go with a show I've been binge watching this past Christmas break while I was out from school, and that is Star vs. the Forces of Evil. I gotta say, Star vs. the Forces of Evil has got to be one of the greatest shows that I've seen coming out of Disney Channel since the 90s, and i watched a lot of cartoons from Disney Channel. Like, from my favorites like Kim Possible, The Weekenders, Recess, Brandy and Mr. Whiskers, Goof Troop, Buzz Lightyear, uh, American Dragon, Jake Long, Lloyd in Space, Emperor's New School, Lilo and Stitch, Dave the Barbarian, The Proud Family, Phineas and Ferb, Star vs. the Forces of Evil has to be like one of my, I gotta put it in the top five for Disney cartoons. Because I haven't seen nothing this good since Kim Possible, and when that ended, like, around when I was in middle school or the start of high school, I was disappointed. But Star vs. the Forces of Evil, I, I gotta say, mind blown. Like, this new generation of cartoons that came out, like, in the past two years have been lit like you got your star versus the forces of evil and then the rest you got your loud house you got steven universe you got rick and morty and you got wee bear bear star versus know. the forces of evil this has the the combination of a storyline action and comedy and very very nice animation like, the art style is so good that i wanted to make my own self as a art style from the show now i haven't really finished it yet but it is it's, i'm still in the work of progress of it but with this show it is awesome like i first picked up the series because i heard on twitter everyone likes the show from one of my twitter friends and i was like you know since I've been binge watching The Loud House a lot, maybe I should give Star vs. the Forces of Evil a chance. Now, I haven't got on Disney Channel in a while. Like, if I have to say late 2016, that's gotta be like the year I came back to watching something from Disney. Because it's been like years. Like, the last time I watched Disney Channel, it would have to be when they canceled, like I said, Kim Possible. And I want I want to say when they showed the um, the uh, Lemonade Mouth movie, hey, hey don't don't judge that that is a good movie. I recommend to anyone. But after those, I just like just stopped watching Disney Channel. I just just went to Cartoon Network, and with Star vs. the Forces of Evil, I'm a little bit disappointed that. It's not on the Disney Channel that it went to the sister channel from um, from Disney Channel to Disney XD, which is you know kind of like similar to like when you have Nickelodeon, you got Nicktoons. I was kind of a little bit disappointed because Star vs. the Forces of Evil has like the potential to be like the next Kim Possible. I'm pretty sure Kim Possible is like the highest rated Disney Channel show to come out of Disney, like. If, if you want to say, like, I don't know, like American Dragon or uh, Phineas and Ferb, then I guess that's a good idea, too, like, as the top show. But I felt like Kim Possible was the top show for Disney during that era. And Star vs. the Forces of Evil, you feel like that that would be the top show for, for Disney. And they decided, well, we're just going to put it to Disney XD. But I, I, I guess I can't compete with corporate ideas but luckily it's doing great on disney xd and now it's getting picked up for our third season so 
I have to say, the storyline to Star vs. the Forces of Evil, you know, has Star going into the human world. And pretty much she's trying to, like, just, like, control her magic and get better at it, but basically in the human world. That's kind of bad parroting there, like, saying, like, oh, we're gonna just, like, put all the disasters on the human world instead of in our world. So, uh, I, I, I was laughing when she first got her one during that in the first episode. But, um, there she just meets, uh, Marco, who she's staying with while she attends high school and controls part of her powers. And, you know, you got, like, all your villains coming in. Well, I'm pretty sure they got the only one main villain, Luco, Ludo, or whatever his name is, and basically trying to steal the one and plot and without spoiling anything something really major happens in the middle of season two but i'm not spoiling anything there so yeah you got your story you got your your plot progression you know it's kind of like uh somewhat of gravity falls but which uh don't don't rant on me on this i have not seen gravity falls yet like I said, I haven't watched Disney Channel for a long time until last year, late of 2016. So, I might pick up the show one day. Maybe I'll talk about it someday. I don't know. But I heard it ended and had like, I don't know, two seasons or something like that. But I'm not 100% sure. So, I just gotta say, with all the episodes I've seen from Star vs. The Forces of Evil... I gotta say, it is a great show, and I would recommend it to anyone who wants to watch something like this, that you get the vibes from anything from the 90s. Way, I wish that Star vs. The Force of Evil was around in the 90s, because I know I would really got into that when I was a kid, but seeing the show now, I, I'm, I'm into the show. Is really is really good. It has great animation. It has a great storyline and cool characters. I gotta say, I wish it was on the Disney Channel instead of XD. But hey, I'm not I'm not the corporate figure here. So that's all I have to say about Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Hope you guys like it. If you guys haven't picked it up, I highly recommend it. It is a great show to watch. It's great for kids. It's great for teens is great for pretty much I, I could say it's good for adults because you know because you got all the humor and some of them has adult jokes here and there but uh hey it's, it's a great show hope you guys like it don't forget to like comment subscribe and tell me your thoughts about the show if you've seen it and i'll see you guys next time